Good evening, everyone. Tonight, we can see that the atmosphere is much more positive than last week. Very well, this is a good sign. As already mentioned by Master Tanaka, it is important to say that before we conduct our sessions, both human beings and the spirits of light must be prepared for the session. Interference from the material world, like alcohol, affects with the energy of our work. Especially for our friend channel, it is necessary to be in full lucidity for more than 24 hours, if possible, 48 hours. At social gatherings, we know that alcohol is always present, right? But for our work, it is important to be free from these substances. In another session, we will go into more detail about why we need to prepare, okay? Well, let's start our session. As in all our sessions, I would like to invite someone who would like to give us his word to further illustrate the good news of Jesus Christ, someone whose understanding could bring about a great spiritual evolution for human beings here on earth. Feel free to manifest. Thank you. Spirit of Light of the Eastern Brotherhood We would like to talk about the difference that exists in the two worlds, the Eastern world and the Western world. I would like to talk a little about this subject, okay? The Eastern world and the Western world. The big difference in the Eastern world is that ancestors are very important to the Eastern world. And in the Western world, they are not that important. We want to talk about why in the Eastern world ancestors are so important. There are two sides. The ancestor takes care of the human being on Earth. The human being on Earth has to pray for the ancestor to be well. So there are two ways, and the better the conditions of each one, the better the relationship is. If it is bad on the side of the ancestor, the ancestor does not help, cannot help human beings on earth. So, it gets bad. One cannot help the other. So, this connection between the ancestor and the human being is important. For this reason, the oratory where the human being prays for the ancestor is important. It is a tradition. When the ancestor is good, he helps the human being with intuition. So the higher the ancestor is in the ladder, the more he can give intuition to the human being and take care of the whole family. This is important. If bad things are happening to the human being, the ancestor guides the human being and redirects him to the right side. Understood? He indicates the side for the human being to follow. That is how the ancestors help. This is a big difference between the Eastern and Western worlds. There is always a connection between the human being and the ancestor. So if the connection is weak, the human being cannot capture the guidance because sometimes the human being does not want to. 
the frequency of the human being may be different from the frequency of the ancestor. If the same frequency does not exist, communication cannot happen and intuition is unable to act. This is important to be understood. Here in the West, there are people who know that ancestors are important in life, but only few people. Who helps human beings? The spirits of light, but they are not always ancestors. It may be a friend with close proximity in past lives. Sometimes he is not related, but he is a friend. He has some connection. This frequency is able to establish communication between human beings and the spirit of light. But sometimes when the frequency is negative, the human being ends up tuning in with other people from other lives, but who is not in the degree of spirit of light, but is in a much lower degree. What's good? What's bad? There is no good, there is no bad. Both sides are good and both can be bad. Everything is relative. If the human being is in low vibration, a spirit that is also in low vibration can be a great company, understand? Sometimes the human being has no one with affinity. When you have no affinity, you have no one to help you in the spiritual world. Then, a person can be left unprotected, without receiving any guidance. Can the person live? Yes, he can manage to. Does he go to the wrong way? Sometimes yes, sometimes not. It depends on the person's free will. In the Eastern line, the human being knows that he has a connection with at least one person, a spirit in the spiritual world, and the family evolves together. If a spirit of light evolves, he seeks to evolve the whole family with him together. So, of course, there are stragglers. Of course, there are black sheep in each family. But, as a whole, the Spirit of Light is always seeking to evolve each member of his family, of his generation. Is that good? It is very good. When a Spirit of Light is evolving, it is good. But when there is a problem in the family, whether the sheep is lost or not, the whole family is penalized. When there is, for example, a suicide in the family, the whole family is harmed. In the Eastern world, it is certain that everyone in the family must help everyone else, regardless of whether or not he or she is a black sheep. You have to help in the best possible way, okay? Like in any family, there are fights. There are also extreme cases where people are banned from the family, when the child disrespects the family hierarchy. It is the father's right to banish the child from the family. And then that son stays unprotected and has no communication with the family. It is people's free will. That is why family in the Eastern world is considered so important in the life of the human being. Again, I don't say it is better or worse, but it is different, very different. It would be ideal, as here in Brazil, that Oriental 
learn from Western and that Westerners learn from Orientals. Western and Eastern learn the best of both worlds. That way, one day, we will have a world with only the best of everything. This is the ideal. That's what we are here for on Earth. That's what we are living for. The challenge on Earth. Different people coexisting in harmony. Learning from each culture. And in the future, becoming a single culture with the best of each nation, the best of each people. This is the great experiment on Earth. The Earth was formed by beings from different planets, Caucasians, Aryans. Each comes from a different origin, a different custom, a different culture, a different belief, a different modus operandi in dealing with their human beings. The relationship between heaven and earth are different. And each one learning when there is integration, when the Easterner comes to the West, when the Westerner goes to the East, when Blacks come to meet Latinos, when Aryans meet Caucasians. This is the great experience of Earth. That is why we found very good conditions here in Brazil, because there is a mixture, a good mixture, right? Channel, for example, he has practiced Umbanda, Spiritism, Catholicism. Channel was a Shinto as well. All this to learn from each culture. That's why Channel is helping here. He has learned a lot. Channel's timeline brought this to him, put various religions on his path to learn, to be here today with us, knowing what each culture is like. Therefore, the teachings of each of you of each different brotherhood will be here together to listen, to learn, to teach, and to make a better world. Eastern Line says, be quiet, be silent. When you are silent, you can hear clear guidance. Westerners hear guidance once in a while but it is more difficult when comparing with a human being. The person needs to scream several times very loudly for the human being to understand. So a human being from the West has a lot of noise in the head. He does not empty the mind. The mind always stays full. Oriental when doing meditation, empties the head. And by emptying the head, it is easier to hear guidance. In silence, it is easier to hear guidance. Listen, and there is no need to shout. This has to be done at an appropriate level, in the right amount. Oriental sometimes just want to meditate. This is not a good thing either. Human beings are here to experience life, to experience it. So human beings have to learn from experience. Experience means interacting with other people, learning from other people. When I talk about learning from other people, Yes, you have to have friends, you have to have a woman, you have to talk to your father, mother, and siblings. This is interacting with people. 
when you interact with other people, you learn. Just meditating is not useful. It does not equal experience. Each human being has to live his own experiences. God made human beings to live experiences. God gave free will. Free will to experience whatever they want. And through these experiences, the human beings have the chance to learn. There are good experiences and there are bad experiences. But everything is learning. Everything is teaching. When it's bad, it teaches you how not to do it. When it is good, it teaches you what you have to do and what has to be improved. But experience has to be lived. You have to go through experiences. A Buddhist monk who is only meditating, it is not good, it is radical. And radical is never good, never ever. Human beings have to have balance in everything. Balance is everything. There cannot be radicalism. Everything has to be experienced. And everything has to be learned. And you cannot say that one thing is good and another thing is bad without knowing. Without knowing. Judging without knowing. Umbanda is bad? No. If it is not radical, it is not bad many good things. Is Shinto good? There are some bad things too, right? So everything is experience. Good experience, bad experience, but everything is experience. It is the only way to learn, just like that. Developing experience, listening to people, listening to guidance. The Western world cannot protect everything either. Some bad things are meant for human growth. Protecting everything is radical and bad. Sometimes protecting everything creates an unprepared human being. Unprepared human beings do not learn. Easterners also have to learn from Westerners. I mean, to seek the best of each world. To seek the best of each world and use what the human being thinks is best for himself through his free will, right? So, a good reminder is to respect the ancestors. Western human beings are good to learn from and oriental human beings you can't protect everyone so much you have to learn from westerners i think this is it thank you very much channel thank you very much for transmitting the words thank you master thank you very much very well Thank you very much, Spirit of Light of the Eastern Brotherhood. I thank you very much for your words, your wise words, and I would like to hear from other people, from other beings, from other brotherhoods, since we have entered into this subject of the differences between people. I leave this space open for you to speak. Spirit of Light 2 Good evening. I think it may be the first time that someone from my brotherhood has participated in an event like this. We are proud to be here. We are learning. We have committed many bad things because we had concluded that we were the people who would lead all the other people here on the planet. 
It is interesting to say that this was due to historical reasons. For historical reasons, at the beginning of the settlement of the earth, we had a mission to organize things, to help define and organize this settlement. Not that we were the best, but for historical reasons, by definition of the beings of light, we started organizing the division of people into geographic locations. We then define by mutual agreement where each group would populate, where its settlement would be its introduction into the earthly world and it was a plan very well defined by the ascended masters for this settlement we did nothing more than accomplish what was planned by the ascended masters however some of us unaccustomed to free will ended up exceeding ourselves in physical strength, thinking that we were superior to others. This thought brought us a lot of negativity. This thought led us to commit many atrocities with other people. Free will, power and physical strength are things that numb the human being. And the numbing of human being is capable of cruelty with no limits. We find it quite fair for the leadership to be passed to Brazil, where in this new age, an interesting and successful miscegenation of people took place. Obviously, many of the spirits even the spirits of light, view this issue in another way. We from the Brotherhood, together with the Ascended Masters, have been working for a long time so that the spirits understand this situation. It is not being easy. It was not easy to begin with. I can say that now many of us already have consciousness, the experience of the result between our brotherhood and the environment, and that this is understandable. Every change brings discomfort, but the discomfort will go away over time, okay? We can say that in our planet, we have a spiritual elevation that is a little bit higher, a little due simply to occasional situations of the planet or people that were invited and that accepted to be part of the experience of the planet Earth. Without a doubt, our people were those who had more time, more experience and therefore a little bit more wisdom. However, this wisdom was useful for purposes that were not so noble. We now understand that we should be supporting the goal of planet Earth and not wanting to dominate all other people. This is very clear now, but years and years have passed from many atrocities and of course, like the law of energy, the law of attraction, there are no exceptions. Many members of our brotherhood are suffering. They are paying for the attitudes of other lives. I believe that another time we can talk in more detail about the relationship between spiritual beings and human beings in our brotherhoods, which is very different from any other people. Master Tanaka, I would just like to check with you how much time we still have.
Can we stay a little more? Another 15 minutes. Okay. So at that time, for our people, sons of God, we considered that several beings incarnated here had a great superiority in relation to other human beings. They are beings who had gone through many experiences, many lives, who had reached a really different degree of energy. And really, due to that high degree of energy, he would be different. He would have to be different from other human beings. They felt superior to other human beings. And the other human beings were, how can I say, submissive to these children of gods. Therefore, many human beings ended up not living their lives, their experiences, but were at the mercy of these children of gods. With such a well-defined hierarchy, it was very difficult to ascend spiritually. First, because the actions of human beings, say inferior, were always the same, never elevated, but rather subject to subordination. And human beings, children of God, who consider themselves children of God, did not seek spiritual elevation either, because they thought they were already at the top of the chain. Therefore, for centuries and centuries, incarnations and reincarnations, those who considered themselves children of God always remain on the same level of energy, and the subordinates, in turn, also remain on the same degree of energy. So nothing evolved. This happened for several, several generations, until one day, little by little, this energy was no longer able to maintain itself, and it gradually declined. The children of the gods have descended steps on the spiritual scale, and subordinates also took steps down. And due to this lack of harmony with the superior spirits, this happened gradually, the fall of several empires in the human world. Other populations who achieved greater spiritual evolution have achieved greater spiritual elevations because they have managed to stop the violence of our people. Evidently, they would have to know how to defend themselves and started an evolution, both material and spiritual. Anyway, this is the story, a brief summary of the history of our brotherhood. But today, in all humility, we are here with you to teach the lesson we have learned in the face of hardship so that these mistakes are no longer made and also learn with humility what other brotherhoods can teach us. We are here, available for all of you, and we will participate in all of these experiences, in all of these sessions, in the best possible way. Thank you very much. Okay, I believe that with this session, we saw that more and more we are on the right path. We are on a very interesting path on behalf of our planet Earth towards a great goal, one nation. It is a big step for all of humanity. In the future, there will be no countries, no borders, one nation with the same culture, without ethnic or cultural differences. 
We are very proud to be here taking the first steps towards this great mission. I believe that this moment is a moment where in the same session we had the experiences of the Oriental people together with the Aryan people. It is with great joy, it is with great joy that we end this very successful session. I thank you all very much and you can be sure that all of you will have the opportunity to talk about all matters. You all have the same importance. That is the beauty of this work that is being done. Thank you very much to all the spirits of light and have an excellent week. So be it. Thank God.